Okay, we're going to jump into patching now because uh, it's going to be one of the first things you do when you, uh, when you uh, get ready for your show. Now on the console here we have a button that's clearly marked patch, very, very useful. Um, and uh, if you have a look at the display you'll see that um, S1 and the soft uh, keys down here is saying patch and there is even a button up here that says patch. So you've got a myriad of ways that we can trigger it. I'm going to click on this one here and uh, we've opened by default into a window that I'll come to in a second. What I'm going to do down here on the S keys, there are three different patch windows that we can have a look at and play with and I'm going to go through each of them. Patch routing is here under S9, patch by output here under S10 and patch by fixture. We're going to start in patch by fixture. Now all I've done with this show file here so far, I've done nothing else other than go file new. Now when I go file new you'll see that uh, channel or fixture number one is patched to dimmer number one. That means that if I type one at full on my console, uh, DMX one on the console will go to full. Very, very handy. Now uh, it will default patch the first hundred positions for me when I go file new. However, your venue might have 96 dimmers, your venue might have 200 dimmers. You might want to set up your own patch so and your own default show that you use when you go uh, to start a new show file. So uh, what you need to do is, is, is set up the patch. So here we go. What we'll do is we'll pretend that we're in a, a venue with 200 channels. Now we've got the first 100 patch so I'm going to add uh, 101 to 200. Very, very simple syntax. As I start typing it, you'll see on the command line down here uh, words that come up that say, well, 101, I'm just typing 101 at uh, 101. Okay, and you'll see here on the screen it says patch fixture 101 to output 101. Great, hit enter. It does that. Perfect. 101 to 101. I'm going to be here all day if I'm going to type 102 to 102, 103 to 103. So instead I'm going to type 102 through, uh, what, what do we say, 200. So 103 to, uh, 102 through 200 at 102. Alright, so on the screen again you can see where it says patch fixture 102 through 200 to output 102. Now what it's going to do when I hit enter is it's going to insert all of those channels and sequentially add um, the dimmer to each one of those. So we've effectively patched the first uh, one, uh, 200 channels in fact as a one-to-one -one patch. So if I bring up channel 200 on the live screen, here's my live screen here, and uh, I'll just move a few things around. Here we go, there's 200 there. If I go to 200 to full, then uh, what will happen is DMX 200 will be going to full. Most theatrical venues like to clear the patch and start from scratch. Very easy to do. A uh, couple of different ways we can do it in fact. Uh, down here on S3 we can go delete fixture. We can go delete fixture 1 through 200. Enter. And they're all gone. Haven't got a show. Okay, nothing there. And then we start patching. So uh, you go out, you hang your lights, and then you come back to the control room and you get your piece of paper and you, and you have one person reading out and the other person typing. And they go, okay, 1 at 30, enter. 2 at 25, enter. 3 at 41, enter. And so on. And you start building your patch of your show. Um, the interesting thing about this display here if I'll just patch the next uh, three lights here, so I'll go uh, four at uh, six, enter, five at six, enter, six at four, enter. Now you'll notice when I typed that, um, channel five stole six away from uh, channel four, and that is because uh, it's a little bit difficult to have one dimmer being controlled by two individual separate channels. Now I can do it the other way around. I can have four at four enter and four at five enter and you'll see on my screen I've actually got four through five showing against 
um, uh, my channel 4, when I type 4 at full on my console, I'll get dimmers 4 and 5 up out of the DMX. Uh, and you'll see that it actually stole it there from uh, channel 6. So this is all very useful. Uh, it does pretty much what you'd expect a patch to do in terms of, of, of running through these things. So uh, if we go 7 at 15, enter 8 at uh, 45, enter 9 at 20, or not 92, let's go clear, at 20, enter, and 10 at 85, enter. Here we have my little list of my 10 channel show. We can see that channel 6 is uh, not patched, and we can see that channel 4 has got two things plugged into it. Now, I can look at this same list of things sorted by the output. If I jump into that view now, which is patched by output, which is S10, what I'm seeing here is exactly the same information, but with all 512 uh, DMX uh, channels shown. So as I scroll down you'll, and scroll back up again, you'll see that every now and then another thing will pop into view where I've patched it. Okay, This is a very useful screen for being able to sort of uh, interrogate where I've got channels being used and where I haven't, or sorry, DMX channels. But uh, from my point of view, this view, patched by fixture S11, gives you a, a condensed view of what you're actually patching and gives you a much clearer um, picture of where you may have made a mistake. So here, uh, fixture 4 was a mistake. I've accidentally put 5 on 4 when I should have actually put 5 on 6. I go, oh, okay, there's a hole there, there's a double up there, check the paperwork. Yes, okay, there's my mistake, let's fix it. 6 at 5, oopsie daisy, 6 at 5, enter, and corrected. Okay, so uh, if you go through a system of a theatrical patch and you're deleting your patch and reinserting it every time, this is probably the way that you want to do it because it gives you the most amount of information straight away. So that's simple patching. I'm going to quickly patch this back one to one, the first hundred uh, uh, channels back to where it was. There's a little function here that says patch one to one under S1. And uh, let's see what happens if I put uh, starting fixture ten, uh, 1 and ending fixture 100 and starting output number 1. When I apply that, you'll see what it's done is it hasn't actually created the missing um, dimmers. All it's done is it's corrected the patch of what is actually there. All right. Uh, this is kind of deliberate because uh, you need to be careful about deleting other patches by a, a, quite a, a, a global command like that. So what they've done is they've, they've allowed you to do a patch one-to-one -one on the things that exist, and if it doesn't exist, you need to make it exist. Now, we can either just use the function here that says add fixture under S2, so I can go add fixture uh, 11, and it's added it but hasn't patched it anywhere. Uh, might be useful if you're going to do a show and you're not quite sure what the dimmer is, but you need to be able to plot. You can still plot with it. It's just not going to do anything. It's not going to spit out any DMX. Uh, for me, if I was doing it, I would simply just grab the whole lot and type 1 through 100 at 1, enter. It creates all of the things I need and patches it into place. One thing you will notice about the display is it's showing me um, that 1 through 100 as one point. Um, 1 to 1.100 down here on the bottom of the screen and uh, that's showing me that that is in the first universe. If I wanted to patch 1 through 100 into the second universe I'd go at 2.1 enter and uh, it would it in fact has what it's done is it's added that to uh, my output for each of those channels because it didn't override it, it didn't need to pull the, uh, the function that was already there away, so it left it there and it just added it to it. Uh, that might have been a mistake, which in fact it was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpatch fixture, which was here under S7, unpatch fixture 1 through 100. 
It leaves them all there. Oh, it asks me first, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It asks me first, and it leaves all the actual fixtures there, all the fixture information. In fact, if I had plotted cues and looks and all that kind of stuff, all of that stuff will still, in fact, be in the programmer and still exist, and just wait for me to um, patch something new to that location so I can fade lights up and down. So uh, here I am, uh, 1 through 100, at 1, enter, gives me back my first 100 channels again. That's wonderful, perfect, thank you very much. And uh, out of my first DMX port on my hardware, uh, I'm going to get the, these channels coming up and down.